there's really two stages to any business. There's the front end and there's the back end. And the front end is where you acquire a new customer and the back end is where you maximize the profit that you make from your existing customers. And I see a lot of people focusing on the front end and not so many people really mastering the back end. So in this video, I want to share a little bit more information about front end and back end and show you some strategies that you can use to make more money in the back end of your business. So first of all, um, right, we have the front end and we have the back. And um, in the front end, your job is to acquire a new customer. So the front end will usually consist of advertising, right? So we have advertising over here. This can be Facebook ads, this can be Google AdWords, uh, this can be really anything. Um, let's bring the whiteboard a little bit closer so you can actually see what I am writing here. Okay. So in the front end, we have things like advertising. Um, you want to track metrics like your cost per purchase. Um, okay. Cost per purchase. You want to know how much are you spending to acquire a new customer. Um, in, this is one of the, the hardest parts of business. Okay. Mastering the front end is one of the most crucial elements of any business and it's what most people struggle with most because advertising isn't as easy as most people believe right running facebook ads profitably running google adwords profitably isn't as easy as some gurus and some people like to portray it so you will spend a lot of time in your business mastering uh, the front end and acquiring customers okay and the goal of the front end is really to acquire customers while making a profit or breaking even. Okay, so um, the goal of the front end is not to acquire customers and make a loss. Okay, some people might say that, well, you can still acquire customers and make a loss and then make back the money in the back end, but I'm not a huge fan of that. So whenever I build any business, my goal in the front end is to to make profit i don't even want to break even because breaking even even if you think you're breaking even most of the time you're losing money because you're not taking certain things into account you know like taxes um payment gateway fees refunds and things like that so even if you're breaking even in the front end you're losing money man okay so you want to make sure this is profitable and um before you master this you don't really have to worry too much about the back end. But once you start crushing it, once you start having a business that generates positive cash flow, that is profitable, you're running Facebook ads, can be any type of business, can be a coaching business, can be a service business, can be an e-commerce business. And you have that stream of new customers coming every single month. You're making some good money. Maybe you're making uh, you know, $2,000 a month, maybe $4,000 a month, maybe $10,000 a month, or maybe a lot more. And you've mastered this. And then what you want to do is you want to start maximizing the profits. And this includes email marketing. Okay. Very, very key to the back end. Uh, email marketing is still one of the most powerful ways to maximize your profit and um, sell more stuff to existing customers. So what you want to realize is that your buyers list is about 20 times more valuable than your uh, than any leads or any free newsletter that you can build. So your buyers list is one of the most valuable assets in your business. So you want to make sure that you Build your buyers list um, now with GDPR. You want to make sure you do it in a GDPR compliant way. Um, 
but I think under GDPR, if someone has bought something from you, the rules are a little bit different, if I'm not mistaken. Meaning, you know, if someone has bought something from you, I think that counts as some sort of consent that you can send them something, but you gotta double check this. Okay, I'm not the GDPR expert, but the bottom line is you have to find a way to build your buyers list and then um, send email marketing campaigns to your existing buyers. And what you want to do is you want to do special promotions on different days, on different occasions, like uh, Black Friday, uh, Christmas, holiday sales, and things like that. So you want to send out discount codes with clear deadlines at certain times. Um, you also want to do product launches. Again, it's going to write down here. Discounts, product launches. What's a product launch? A product launch means you take, um, you create a new product or you take a new product and you build up to the release of that product with some content, some videos that um, get people excited and hyped up about the new product and then you release a product and people can buy it. So a product launch is really a very structured sequence of um, pre-selling a product before people can buy it. And this is great. This can be done in e-commerce. If you have a new e-commerce uh, product, you can create a video series or you can demonstrate the product. Uh, you can build up a lot of anticipation and hype before you release a product. And then you can open the cart, add the product to your e-commerce website and people can buy it. And guess what? All of this money is free. All the money you make from these product launches, from these discounts, and from your email marketing campaigns are free because you've already acquired the customer, you've already broken even plus made some profit. So this is where a lot of the big money can be made. This is where you really make profit because this is all this money in your pocket. Um, other stuff you want to do is retargeting. This means you want to retarget your existing customers. Um, this can be done via Facebook ads. It can be done via general retargeting. Um, in, you want to use retargeting combined with your product launches and discounts and email marketing campaigns, meaning you want to show people relevant ads for the products um, that you're launching, for the discounts and special sales that you're doing. You can use custom audiences for this. You can upload your buyers list to Facebook, show them retargeting ads, for example, um, and things like that, okay? So this is to give you some ideas about front-end and back-end. And um, your first goal, again, is to master the front-end. And then your second goal is to bring in more profit from the back-end. And what I see is a lot of people who master the front-end, they completely ignore the back-end or even if they don't ignore it, they suck at it. So they spend all their time learning skills about, you know, turning uh, prospects into customers, which is super important, don't get, me, don't get me wrong, but then they don't really master the email marketing, product launches, retargeting, special sales and things like that. So they're leaving at least half of the money on the table. So in general, you can expect that at least half of the money in your business is in the back end. So, you know, this is literally, there's potentially thousands, hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars for the taking that a lot of people are leaving on the table because they don't understand front end and back end. So that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you with another video tomorrow.